Chapter 1 Nat Finds a New Home Please, sir, is this Plumfield? asked a ragged boy of the man who opened the gate. Yes, who sent you? Mr. Lawrence, I've got a letter for the lady. All right. Go up to the house and give it to her. She'll see you, little chap. The boy went on, feeling much cheered by the words. I hope the lady will see to me, he thought, and gave a timid rap on the great wooden door. A rosy-faced maid opened the door and smiled as she took the letter which Nat silently offered. She seemed used to receiving strange boys, for she pointed to a seat in the hall and said, Sit there and drip on the mat a bit while I take this to the missus. Nat found plenty to amuse him while he waited and stared about him curiously, enjoying the view, yet glad to do so unobserved in the dusky corner by the door. The house seemed swarming with boys. There were boys everywhere, for various open doors showed pleasant groups of big boys, little boys, and middle-sized boys in all stages of evening relaxation and recreation. Two large rooms on the right were clearly school rooms, for desks, maps, blackboards, and books were scattered about. Several boys were lazily discussing a new cricket ground. A tall youth was practicing on the flute in one corner. Two or three others were jumping over the desks, pausing now and then to get their breath and laugh at the comical sketches of a little boy who was caricaturing the whole household on a blackboard. The hall, however, presented the most inviting view of all, for a brisk game of tag was going on. One landing was devoted to marbles, the other to checkers, while the stairs were occupied by a boy reading, a girl singing a lullaby to her doll, two puppies, a kitten, and a constant succession of small boys sliding down the banister, to the great detriment of their clothes and danger to their limbs. So absorbed did Nat become in this exciting race, that he went farther and farther out of his corner. When one very lively boy came down so swiftly that he could not stop himself, but fell off the banister with a crash, Nat forgot himself and ran up to the fallen rider. He was expecting to find him half dead. The boy, however, only winked rapidly for a second then lay calmly looking up at the new face with a surprised hello hello returned nat not knowing what else to say and thinking that form of reply both brief and easy are you a new boy asked the boy without moving don't know yet what's your name nat blake mine's tommy bangs come up and have a go, will you? And Tommy got upon his legs like one suddenly remembering the duties of hospitality. Guess I won't till I see whether I'm going to stay or not, returned Nat, feeling the desire to stay increase every moment. I say, Demi, here's a new one. Come and see him and the lively Thomas returned to his sport with unabated relish. At his call, the boy reading on the stairs looked up with a pair of big brown eyes. After an instant's pause, as if a little shy, he put the book under his arm and came soberly down to greet the newcomer. Nat found something very attractive in the pleasant face of this slender boy. Have you seen Aunt Jo? he asked as if that was some sort of important ceremony. I haven't seen anybody yet, but you boys, I'm waiting, answered Nat. Did Uncle Laurie send you? proceeded Demi, politely but gravely. Mr. Lawrence did. He's Uncle Laurie, and he always sends nice boys. From Little Men by Louisa M. Elcott Adapted Mrs. 
a shortened form of the word mistress. Dusky, here, a darkened area. Swarming, large groups moving together. Recreation, ways of enjoying oneself when not working. Scattered, spread around in an untidy way. Caricaturing, the art of making a drawing of someone that makes them look silly by exaggerating a part of their appearance. Bannister, the row of posts at the side of the stairs and the wooden or metal bar on top of them. Detriment, harm or damage. Hospitality, the act of being friendly and welcoming to guests and visitors. Unabated relish, enjoyment without any worry about possible criticism or embarrassment. Soberly, in a serious and calm way. Gravely, seriously.